והיא רעבה מנקודה מתיקה קדישה דחול קדישין תמירה דחול תמירין סתימה דחול אדיש משך דית משך דתלה אילאה מיני למעל ירש על דזעד ענפין ולחתי לחכל תפוחין קדישין בנהירו דענפין ורעבה ברעבה בחדוותה, וכל הווית משך מן קדם עתיקה קדישה דחול קדישין תמירה דחול תמירין סתימה דחולה רעותה ורחמי חינה וחסדה ונהירו אלאה ברעותה וחדווה עלי ועל כל בני ביתי ועל כל הנלווים עלי ועל כל ישראל עמך עמי ויפרקינן מכל התקין בשין דייתו עוד לעלמה ויזמין ויתהיב לנה מזונה ופרנסתה תפתה בלי שרה ואחתה ממזלה דחול מזונה בה בתליין ושזיוונן מעינה ואישה ומחרבה דמלח המוות ומדינה של גהינם ויעשה לנה ולכל נפשך נא חינה וחסדיו חיי אריכי מזוני רביכי ורחמי מן קודמה אמן כן יהי רצון, אמן ואמן. אמן. We're going to read now Kaddish, יהי שלמה. If anybody feels that they would like to recite the Kaddish, please join me. Um, I'm going to find it in my סידור now. Sorry, sorry, it's Kaddish על ישראל. If you want to, do we have מניין? Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> תעשה בן ארבעים, עשירית האפוסולת, לחם ולחם 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 ול
David, ahí, hola, David, a su yaraba, 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 a su yaraba,
מי אתה ויד עולם, הללויה. דיגון תפילתי כתורות לפניך, מסר כפיי, מלכת ערב, אביב על הכל שווים, כי באלוהי, כי אליך אתפלל, יתגדל ויתקדש שמי רבה. שמי רבה. על מה? יברא כרוצה, הוא ימליך עם הכרוצה, הוא ישמח, הוא קנה וקרב משיחי. אמן. ובחון וביומי חון, וחי לכל בית ישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קרי, ואמרו אמן. 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 אדוני שבתאי תפתח ויגיד לתיך ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו ולוהי אבותינו ולוהי אברהם ולוהי יצחק ולוהי יעקב אלוהינו שלום אדון הגיבור והנורא אל עליון גורם אחרים טובים פוני הכל וזוכר חסי אבות מביא גואל לבני ביניהם ומחור באהבה מהלך עוזר ומשיעו מכן ברוך אתה אדוני ובכן אברהם אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני מחיים את זה הרב להוציא המורי דתל וכן חיים וחסד מחיים את עם רחמים רבים סומך נוחים לו וכל עם מתיר אסורים חייהם אמונתו לשני עבר מי חמוך אבל גברות מידו המלח, מלך ממיד ומחי ומצמיח ישוע, ונאמן אתה על החיות מתים ברוך אתה ה' ומחיי המתים. אמן. אמן. ונשך ונשך כנועם שיח סוד צלפי קודש, עם של שמך קדושה כתוב בנביאיך, וקרא זה אל זה ואמר. קדוש, 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 לעומתם יש ערכים ועומרים. ברוך יבוד אדוני מאוד 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 אדוני
Amen. 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 I'm going to now light a candle in yeah. honor. I'm going to say Laila Tov because I'm praying with them. Laila Tov. Tomorrow. Laila Tov. Bye bye. <laughs> Amen. 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 Uh, Gabe, can you mute everybody? Sure, I'm going to, but you have to unmute yourself, okay? Okay. Okay. Abe will please say some remarks now about my uh, about Uncle Aaron. Okay. Do you hear me now? Please. Yes. Uh, dear friends, family, and members of Benin Arayim, would like to take this opportunity to thank Gabe, Rudy, and Saul for their efforts to make this Zoom possible to commemorate the Shaloshim for Harun Abraham the Chrono Labracha. Haron was an access to our faith and community. His life and light will be profoundly missed. Haron spent so much time giving to his community that we are left with nothing but gratitude. Haron, this is your light. We will keep it on. Your teaching and guidance through the whole years will stay with us forever. You are the prophet of God. Your Sefer Torah is our mirror. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, Abe. Thank you, Abe. I will now recite the Psalm 119, Tehillim 119, with the appropriate letters for Ilui Nishmat. Um, I'm going to start also, with... If you need help, Moshe Zlich, I can help you with it. Wonderful. Okay. I was thinking... So you tell me when you want him to start and I'll, and he can jump in. If you guys, if everybody would like to follow along with me, if you have a Tehillim with you, it is uh, Tehillim uh, Mizmor 119. And we're just going to go around and use the Aleph Beit uh, to correspond with the name Aharon. We're going to start with Aleph. we're now going with ot he the letter he horeni adonai derech ukecha veetzrena ekev havineni veetzra toratecha veeshmerena becholev hadricheni binti mitzvotecha kibo chafatzi Ad libi el edotecha, wa al el batsa ha aver enai mer ocha bedrachecha, hayeni, ha kem la abdecha imratecha, asher liratecha, aver herpati asher yagorti, kimish patecha tovim, kinet ha abdi libi kudecha, bitsirkatecha, hayeni. Otresh. Re oni wa halzeni kitorat halo shahti riva rivi ugaleni limrat hayeni rahok mer shaim shishua ki huke halo darashu rahame harabi madonai kimish pateha hayeni rabim rodefai visarai me do te halo natiti. Right, if you go to the Kodata Asher Imrate Halo Shamaru, Reeki Pikudeha, Hafti Adonai Kastaka Hayeni, Rosh Devareha Emet, Uleolam Kolmish Patsikeha Otvav Vivioni Hasadeha Adonai Tishua Tehaki Mrateha. When a horpy devar ki bartahti bit vareha, wa alta tsel me pi devar emet, ad me or ki limish pateha ya halti, wesh mirat or atahat amid the olambet, wet alaha berhava ki picudeha de rashti, wada berabe doteha neged melachim belo evos, wesh tasha be mitzvoteha shera hafti, wesa kapai el mitzvoteha. Asher ahavti v'asicha b'chukecha. Ot nun. Ner l'ragli d'varecha v'ot l'ntivati, nishmati v'kaya ema l'shmor m'shpite s'kecha. Na'aneti ad me'od, Adonai chayeni k'dvarecha. Nedavot p'retzena Adonai l'mshpatecha l'amdeni. Nashi m'kapi, תמיד בתורתך לא שכחתי, נתנו רשעים פח לי, ומפקודיך לא טעיתי. נאכלתי עדותיך לעולם, כי ששון ליבי המה, נתיתי ליבי לעסוק חוקיך לעולם עקב. Rannanu Sadiqim Bagona Ila Isharim Nawate Hilla, Hodula Duna Kibno Kibneva Asu Zamarolo, Shirolo Shir Khada, Shativu Nagam Batrua, Shi Ashar Dabara Dunai, Ukolba Aka Bamuna, Ohev Sadaqa Wushpaksa Sadla Dunai Malaares, Dabara Dunai Shamaina Asu Bruwahi Abkol Asabam, 
להיכנס כנגד מי הים, נוסע בצורות תהמות, יראו מי הים מהאוהב כל הארץ ממנו, יראו כל יושבי תבל, כי הוא אמר ויהי ברוך טובה ויעמוד, אז אולי הפיר אחד גויים, הנה מחשבות עמים, עצת אדוני לעולם תעמוד מחשבות דבו לדור ודור, אשר גוי אשר אדוני אלוהיו העם בחר לנחל עלו, השמיים הביט אדוני רואה את כל בני האדם, ונכון שבתו הביח את כל יושבי הארץ, היוצר יחד לבם המבין את כל מעשיהם, אין המלך נוסע בדרור הפחי, גיבור ולא ינצל דרור הכוח, שקר והסוס לתשועה, ובו כלו לא ימלט, הנה אין אדוני אלי רעב למאכלים לחזור, להציל ממה ואת נפשם, לכבודם ברעב, נפשנו חכיתה על אדוני, עזרנו מרנינו הוא, כי הוא יזבח לבנו, כי בשם קודשו פתחנו, אדוני חזך אדוני עלינו, כאשר יכלנו לך. Who would like to read מזמור 104? משה would like to read? קוף דלד. Moshe has to unmute himself. He's on mute. Barkei nafshi et Adonai, Adonai, Elohai, Gedalta meod hod ve'adar. Levashtar. Ote or keshalma, note shamayim ki iriya, המקרא במים עליותיו, אסם אבין רכובו, המהלך על כנפי רוח, עושה מהלכיו רוחות, משרתיו אש לא עת, יסד ארץ על מכוניה, בל תימות לעולם ועד, תהום כלבוש כסיתו, על הרים יעמדו מים. מן גרת חי נוסון, מן כל רמך יחפזון, יעלו הרים, ירדו בקרות, אל מקום זה יסדת להם. גבול שמת על בעל יעברון, בעל ישיבון לכסות הארץ. המשלח מעיינים בנחלים, בין ערים יעלכון. ישקו כל חייתו שדה, ישברו פרעים צנעם, עליהם עוף שמיים ישכון, מבין אפאים תנו קול. משקה הרים מעריותיו, מפרי מעשיך תשבע הארץ, מצמיח חציר לבהמה ועשב לעבודת האדם, הוציא לחם מן הארץ. ויין ישמח לבב אנוש, להציל פנים משמן, ולחם לבב אנוש יישא. ישבעו עצי אדוני ארזי לבנון אשר נותר, אשר שם ציפורים יקננו חסידה ברושם ביתה, הרים הגבוהים ליעלים, סלעים מחסה לשפנים. עשה ירח למועדים, שמש אדם מבואו, תשת חושך ואי לילה, בו תרמוס כל חייתו יער. הכפירים שואגים לטרף לבקש מאל אכלם. זך השמש יוספון ואל מותם ירבצון, יצא אדם לפעלו לעבודתו עד הערב. מה רבו מעשיך אדוני, כולם בחוכמה עשית, מלא הארץ קנייניך. זה הים הגדול, רוחב הידיים, שם רמש ואין מספר, חיות קטנות עד גדולות. שם אוניות ילכון, לבטן זה יצאת לשחק בו. אולם אליך ישברון לתת אכלם ביתו, תיתן להם יקוטון, תפתח ידיך ישברון טוב. תסתיר פניך יבעלון, תוסף רוחה מגבעון, ואל הפרען ישובון. תפתח רוחך ויברכוך, ותחדש פני אדמה. יהי כבוד אדוני לעולם, ישמח אדוני במעשיו. המביט לארץ ותירא, דיגע בערים ויעשונו. אשירה לאדוני בחיי, אז אמרה לאלוהי בעודי. יערב עליו שיחי, אנוכי אשמח. אני אשמח באדוני, תמו חטאים מן הארץ ורשעים עד עינם, ברכי נפשי את אדוני, הללויה. מזמור נאמבר 15, ט"ו. Joe Ezra on the line. He, Joe, can you hear us? Go ahead and read, read number 15. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Oh. Wait, one second. I'm having problems. Just a second. Joe, your speaker and your microphone are too close to each other. You're getting feedback between the speaker and the microphone. Okay. 
Okay, one second, please. 15. Do I know it? <laughs> of course you do. Okay. I'm going to try, okay? Smaller than we have a nine, me, a war, be a lecha. Me is con, be a checha. A lecha mean, what for I said it. We do bear a mess, bilbobo. Lora al al lechano, al asta, der ehu. Raa wa erfa, lo nasa, al for bo. Nibze be a now. Nimas, where if your a Arunai Yahabe Nishba Lehara, where law Yamir, the Sofo, law Nathan, Benashecha, Benesha, where Wishhar Al Naki, law Laka, or say in the or say in the law your more than them. Psalm number sixteen. Ms. Mola David, anyone? Any volunteers? Men or women are allowed to read Tehillim. How about Moshe? Moshe Zlicha. Tetzain? Yes, please. Tetzain, yes. Mishame David, Shomreni El, Kehasiti Bach. Amarat la donai adonai atta tovati ke bal alecha. Ikdoshim asher baaretz hema veaderi kol hefzivam. Yerbu atzvotam aher, mahar ubal asich. Nishem midam, Uval is side Shamotam al Sifatai. Adonai minat helki, a cosi at tatumi, rali, gorali. Havalim nafluli vanaimim afna halat shofra alai. Avarechet Adonai shay atsani afle lotis seruni, iliotai. Shiviti Adonai and Egdita mid ki mimini valemot. Lahen samah le bi vayagel ki vodi af besari ishkon, the veta. Ilot Azov Nafshilish Ol, Loti ten Hazideha, the Rot Shahat, the Eni or Haim Sova Smahot, the Neimot Bimineha Netza. The next Ms. Moore is Gimel, number three. Uh, Ms. Moore, number three. Maybe Aaron Golbari can read it. Maybe Aaron. I can read it if you want. The woman can read also. Please go ahead. Miss Morley, hello. Go ahead, the Habud. Miss Morley, the we, Babur Hom of Pene of Shalom Beno, Adonai, my Rabbu Sarai, Rabbim Kamim Alai, Rabbim Omrim and of Shif, Enishu Atta, Lo, Be, Lohim, Sella, Wata Adonai, Marem, Beadi, Kebodi, Wum, Merim, Merim Roshi. Oli Lavunai Pra, we are an eni, Mehar Pocho Sela, Anisha Hafti, where Ajana Hakisoti, Kiadunai, yes, Mehemi, no era, Maribos Am, a share sebi, Jetu Alai, Umadunai Hoshi Eni, Aluhai Ki, the Kesa, et Kol Oibai Lehi, Shine Shahim, Shibata Ladunai, a Shua. Ms. Moore, number 139. Kuf Lamit Tet. Kuf Lamit Tet. Kuf Lamit David Ms. Moore. Oh, okay. please. Okay. One thirty-one or thirty-nine? One three nine. Two flamet Yes. Who is reading it? Moshe, you want to read? Uh, one second. I'm going to find it. Yes. One second. I can give it a try. Go ahead. It's all from the heart. Lam natse ale da bi mis mora dona ya hata dani vate da ta ya da da shifti ve kumi banta le rai baok. Or hei vei vei zerita ve kol de raka iskanta. 
Mizmor 103, Kuf Gimal. Anyone want to do it can do it. Yeah, can can women we do, it? do it? Of course, yeah. yes. Go ahead. Le David Barchina Pshiet Adonai, the Kol Kravai at Shem Kutso. Barchina Pshiet Adonai, the Eltish Kahi Kol Gemulav. Hasoleh le Kola Bonechi, Harofe le Kol Tachloechi. הגואל משחת חייכי, המאתרכי חסד ורחמים. המשביע בטוב עדיך, תתחדש כנשר נעוריך. עושה צדקה, אדוני, ומשפטים לכל השוקים. יודיע דרכיו למשה, לבני ישראל עלילותיו. רחום וחנון, אדוני, ערך אפיים ורף חסד. לא לנצח יריב, ולא לעולם ייטור. לא כחטאינו עשה לנו, ולא כעוונותינו גמל עלינו. כי כגבוע השמיים על הארץ, גבר חסדו על יראיו. כרחוק מזרח ממערב, הרחיק ממנו את פשענו. כרחם אב על בנים, רחם אדוני על יראיו. כי הוא ידע יצרנו, זכור כי עפר, זכור, זכור כי עפר אנחנו. אנוש כחציר ימיו, כציץ השדה כן יציץ. כי רוח עברה בו ואיננו, ולא יכירנו עוד מקומו. וחסר, וחסד אדוני מעולם ועד עולם על יראיו, וצדקתו לבני בנים. לשומרי בריתו ולזוכרי פיקודיו לעשותם, אדוני בשמיים הכין כיסאו, ומלכותו בכל משלה. ברכו אדוני מלאכיו, גיבורי כוח, עושה דברו לשמוע בכל דברו. ברכו אדוני את כל צבאיו, משרתיו עושי רצונו. ברכו אדוני כל מעשיו, בכל מקומות ממשלתו, ברכי נפשי את אדוני. חזק ברוך. מזמור נאמבר פור, למנסח בן גינות מזמור לדוד. אני יכול לקרוא את זה, אם זה אוקיי? אף כך זה אוקיי, בבקשה. נעשה אבן לינות מזמור לדוד, וקורא עונני וצדק בצר כוכב תליף ענני ושמע תפילתי. איש עד מי כבודי למה תיהרון ריק תבקשו עזב שאלה ודעו כי הפתעה אדוני חתית לו אדוני ישמע תקראי אליו בקשו אל תחתאו ובלבבכם על משכבכם בדומו שאלה צבחו זבחי צדק ובטחו לאדוני רבים אומרים מי יראינו טוב נשא עלינו אור פניך אדוני נתת שמחה בלבי מדגנם מתרושם רבו בשלום יחדיו אשכבה ואישן, כי אתה אדוני לבדד לבטח, תושיבני. אב רוצה לקרוא את הפינל מזמור, פסאם נאמבר 91, יושב בסתר עליון. 
יושב בסתר עליון בתואר של דאי פנן, אמר לאדוני מחסי ומסעודתי, אלוהי יפתח בו, כי הוא יצוחה מופח לפוש בדבר הוד, ואהבתו יסך לך בתחת כנפיו תחסת שינה וסוכרה אימתו, לא תירא מפחד לילה וחס לאוף יומם, ודבר באופן להלוך, וכתר בשוט צהריים, יפול בשפה אל אפור בבן, ומניך אליך לא ייגש, רק בעיניך תמיד בשלום הרשעה, אם תראה, כי אתה אדוני מחסי עליון, ושמת מעוניך, לא תעון אליך רעה, ונגעה לא יוכל אליך, כי מלאכה ותבוא לך לשפחה בכל דרכיך, על כפיים ישרפה, פנדות בעדן ברליך, אישה חלופית לפנדות, כמו סיפור ותנין, כי בחשה אחרת לתהו, אז תדהו כי ידע שמי, יקראני ואניהו עמו, אנוכי בשרה, אכל לתהו ואכבדהו, אור שמים אשגעהו ואראהו וישועתי. חזק ברוך to everybody for reciting the מזמורים. Um, I would love to, I would like to now make an opportunity at this time, anyone want to share a memory, something that you gained from being a part of my, uh, uncle's life and how he was a part of yours. Um, anyone wants to speak, please, please, uh, welcome. I would mean, it would mean a lot to me to hear it and everyone can gain from learning from uncle's life. I would like to say something. Uh, I met uh, Haron Abraham. It was on the shiva of my father-in-law. Is it is coming out? We can hear you very good, yes. Okay. Uh, the shiva was supposed to be conducted by Rabbi Menashe. And Haron... Rabbi Menashe couldn't make it, so Haron took over. So after the, we, we were in the Shiva, we start talking. I said, are you a rabbi? He said, no, I am an engineer. Uh, <laughs> what? Sorry. He said, I'm an engineer. I said, uh, who taught you all these uh, prayers and everything? He said, I taught, self-taught. I said, he was a, from a kid. He taught himself. He learned Aramic before he learned Hebrew. And in India, there was a rabbi there who taught him Aramic. I think the story Haron told at one time in Ben Arayim, which I reminded him. He said that one day they were in the synagogue and he was at the age of six. And everybody got up to do the Amidah. So Haron also got up as a child. And his father glanced onto him and he saw that he is moving his mouth. And he was very upset with him. So when the, when the Amida finished, he asked Haron, I said, he said, you are mimicking. Why you are mimicking people, you know? Do you know how to read it? He said, okay, now let me hear it from you. So uh, he read it without a book. So this father kissed him and took him for an ice cream. So this is the love that Haron has for the religion. So when I came in, in 1995 to Benin Haraim, I didn't know a word of Hebrew. And I begged Haron, I said, Haron, can't you just uh, read it in English so I can enjoy the service? I, I, jo I enjoy being with you. He said to me, uh, look, this is the tradition has been, we've been praying in Hebrew for hundreds and hundreds of years. The only way you can enjoy it if you're going to start learning Hebrew. So I attempted to learn Hebrew. We took two courses in uh, Ben Haraim. Haron has incredible lessons. Early on, we used to come at night and he used to teach us. 
and teach us meanings, words, gamatria uh, was fascinating. Maurice is a witness. Right, Maurice? Maurice, your hand. You were in one of his classes. Correct. So uh, we were really uh, amazed with the knowledge this man has with uh, the Gamatria and uh, Kabbalah and uh, his uh, knowledge of the Hebrew language. And uh, so Maurice was the president at the time, Maurice Shohef. I said, Maurice, this guy is so amazing. He doesn't skip a letter of a word in Hebrew. He pronounced the word is perfect. So I asked Haron, he said, that's the only way you give a kabod to the word if you pronounce it. And we fell in love with Haron. That's one, one aspect of his character. The other is a humility. I would say he is one person is a, nobody can match the humility the, of, a, of the selflessness. I, I really I equated to Moshe Rabbeinu. He was so uh, the humility he has. He never was angry, never his voice of one, always with a smile, with understanding. I don't think, I think God sent him to us. Because the Iraqi community, it's a very tough community. They are first not religious enough, uh, not knowledgeable enough to be versed in the Hebrew and uh, in lessons and in uh, traditions and all this. But we managed to enjoy every second of a synagogue because we had the freedom of asking questions and getting the correct answers. Our love for him, it's going to stay forever. He wants to be like a brother, a father, a friend, everything. I love you very much. May God have mercy on his soul. Thank you. Thank you so much for your kind words. Can anyone else share a, a memory? Uh, Dan, please unmute yourself and speak. Yeah, so uh, when I approached Haran Abraham to teach my daughter for her bat mitzvah, he said to me, um, I could get in trouble for this, but he did it anyway, and we would schlep from New Jersey so that she could have her bat mitzvah lessons from her own in Queens. He then went on to tell me, she's better than any of the boys I taught. And I say that only because Adina has a, has a gift for this. It's not a, um, at, at all a reference to anybody not, not being good. And then he also, three years later, uh, taught my, my son Aaron also for his mitzvah and I begged him because we were doing the service actually at the BJC in Great Neck if he would please 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 come for the service and he said to me I never miss a Shabbat at B'nai Naharayim not even for a family occasion and once he said that to me I knew I couldn't ask him any longer um, he had so much integrity along with uh, a love of community and um, a very grandfatherly way to, towards my children. Yeah. Thank you very much. That was very beautiful. Okay, I just want to say something, please. Uh, okay. My son lives in, Je in Jerusalem and they're reading uh, Kaddish yeah. every day in the Kotel in, uh, for him. And every year side, they're going to read Kaddish for him. And there is two Avres learning uh, on uh, Mishnayot on his Zechut. And there is two, two Minyanim every day reading Kaddish for him. 
כל הכבוד. כל הכבוד. Very nice. I wanted to add something to what I said before. I said, Haron, you know more than any rabbi that I know. I asked Haron, I said, why don't you become a rabbi? Uh, he said, no, I don't want to be a rabbi. Yeah. I said, why? Because your knowledge exceeds any rabbi in here, you know, and, and your character fits perfect. He said, there is, if I become a rabbi, you will lose Ben Naharaim. But Ben Naharaim will lose because they, first they have a strict budget, right, Maurice? <laughs> The, the budget was a strict. Correct. The, the, he was paid so little. In 1995, I asked Haron, how did you get involved with Benin Harayim? He said, one Kapoor, uh, they used to bring a rabbi from India, from Iran, to do the service for them. And they used to pay him $5,000 for the service. And uh, one day the rabbi didn't show up. And Haron used to help him all the time, you know, he, he, his love for the prayers and, and knowledge of it. So he did it. Uh, and Elias Paris was the president, I think. Right, Boris? I think at the time. He handed them a check for $5,000. So Haron gave it back to him. He said, I didn't do it for the money. That's how much he loved the, the religion and the, the, the thing, uh, the being with the community. I think uh, it was a love from first sight, the Iraqi community. It's a very tough community to, to be around. How many rabbis try to come and becomes our rabbi, they never succeeded. One of them, Rabbi Menashe, because we are, we are tough. We are, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't know what we're gonna do now. We have to have a meeting and interview some people. So this is, this is what I wanted to say. I just want to add to what Joseph said. Uh, a lot of people don't know Aaron Abraham started serving the community in the early 70s. The community used to have service at Esplanade Hotel in Manhattan during the holidays, and uh, especially the Hagim. And Aaron, that's when I got to know him long before Bnei Naharaim was established. And uh, the opening of Bnei Naharaim, as Joe Ozra mentioned, Aaron was servicing the community free. for free. But at a certain point in time, the first president of the congregation, the late uh, Salim Mahlab, said we have to make a stop to this and we have to start uh, giving Aaron a yearly salary. Of course, they started with a low, uh, you know, payment. A uh, few years later, the president at the time of the society, which is uh, responsible for the cemetery, the late Dr. Htena, decided that the society also ha has to participate in uh, helping. And they started to allocate a very minimal uh, yearly uh, payment to Aaron because he used to have the service for uh, our community whenever there is someone who dies 
he goes to the cemetery in Babylon, Long Island, and all this. Uh, when I first uh, heard Aaron, I couldn't believe, as, as Joe mentioned, the pronunciation of the letters of the words, because I myself grew up in Iraq. I left at the age of 21. So I was familiar with our pronunciation. So when I heard Aaron is doing it exactly the same, of course, better, I was surprised. And uh, he explained that uh, for many generations, though he was himself was born in Calcutta, he got it from the family and they kept the, uh, you know, the pronunciation of the Hebrew letters and the words. He will re be remembered good as someone who had the love to the human beings as his guiding line. May his memory be blessed. He's Amen. 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 I have to say something. Hi. Uh, with Haron, he loved to teach adults and kids. He loved our kids. He had a special sparkle when he taught our kids and our kids fell in love with him. He had some kind of a Shekhinah that came out of showed from his face. So I will always remember his special face. He was really special to us. May he rest in peace. Amen. 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 Can I add something? Yes. You don't need permission. Just uh, please, please. Uh... Uh, when my father, Shiva, uh, Yusef Kuku, what he was doing the shiva for us and we were talking just him and me and i was trying to figure out if somebody would like to read the manual uh, and see if it's good enough to print and he said i can do it and it never went through that way because i live here in montreal but he took something out of his pocket and showed it to me it was like a gold coin it was like a one one and a half inch diameter and it's it had his name inscribed and on the other side uh, it was some engineering uh, thing from the government Canada. The video stopped. I think she lost connection. We'll, we'll come. We'll come back to her. We, we must yeah, and it was sorry. I got cut off, but it was written that he was a genius. The government of the United States, uh, you know, certified that he's a genius. He's he's from he's that was from Boeing aircraft. We've been. We were talking about it a lot. We loved it. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's that was, what it was. That was an absolutely beautiful story. I love. I love hearing it all. I can hear it every day for the rest of my life. I love it. Can you elaborate on that? What, what you mean by he was a genius, or or how they cert certified him to be a genius? Uncle Aaron first worked for for Marconi. The, tele, the, the telegraph company and he was uh, he got his experience there then he was working for the government of Pakistan and he was on a train and uh, he was going freely between the companies uh, between uh, between the countries I mean between India and Pakistan then um, he got a job with uh, Boeing Aircrafts Corporation and um, he was at that point he was one of three people in the in the world basically that had this job for boeing mm -hmm. and his credential was he was he all the all the sort of all the telecommunications instruments on the aircraft he and two other people in the entire world knew how to solve these uh, fix and work on these uh, equipments so that was his credential to basically work uh, walk onto the aircraft and work on these uh, pieces of equipment. So, um, so he was actually unbelievable. certified by Boeing Aircraft uh, to, as a certified genius to work anywhere in the world as needed. Wow.
since now that he left, the stock went down. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, that, that explains it. <laughs> that explains it. Yeah, but we had uh, we had a lot of great uh, we had a lot of great stories. Uncle Aaron used to talk to me about his certifications all the time. But I remember as an electronics engineer, any time I would break an electro a piece of equipment like a radio or a cassette player or something, anything as a child, it was always my mom or father, dad would say, Uncle Aaron can fix it and we'd always <laughs> give him something. <laughs> so one day I remember he, he came, he says, here is a, is a radio with a cassette player. I'm not going to fix this anymore. I've been fixing this so many times. Every time you break it, it's time for a new one. And he gave, he gave me, I must have been about 13 years old at the time. But I remember what, he, what I broke all the time, and I remember what he replaced it with. But there was nothing Uncle Aaron could not get to work. Any piece of electronics, he would get to work. He Even uh, my mom's um, A-track player, which I have upstairs, he still made it work, even though it wasn't um, something wasn't working. It wasn't playing the A-track cassette. He told me he fabricated something to make the gears turn out of a rubber band because they don't make that size uh, rubber. Um, I don't even know what it's called. That that uh, belt. They didn't make it anymore. He fabricated something out of a rubber band, and this was maybe oh. 15 years ago. So, what was he a Mensa member? Was I, don't, I don't know, but I'm sure he qualified. I'm sure he. But, but she said name. she said he was certified by the U.S. government. Correct. But Correct. is that Mensa? I don't know. Okay. Thanks. I just want to say also that Aaron's um, wisdom was beyond his knowledge of the Torah and text. Was, was truly, truly beyond and a treasure to all of us, but also above and beyond his um, amazing abilities as a rabbi, he was a kind, warm, sensitive person. He always did every sisterhood's registration. He sat there for hours, did not expect to eat, sit there with a big smile on his face. Whatever you asked him to do, he just did it in such a kind and loving way that it was such a pleasure to come to the temple. And the first person you see was Aaron sitting there with Eva. Truly, truly amazing. And as far as the kids, uh, he taught my two boys. They, both of them adore him. They just adore him and they see him as a role model, and he was a role model for all of us. So mm -hmm. may he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. Amen. 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 I can add something very, very important. To know Aaron is to love him. And he was, uh, my wife used to call him all the time, any problem she has. He was part of our family. And we took him once with his wife, uh, Sheena, to come to Florida. And we had a really a good time. And that was the end of it because he couldn't travel after that or something. But uh, he was, we are really blessed to know him and to be part of our community. And that's the truth. He's gonna be missed. He will be missed. And I can't believe that it has been 30 days since we lost our beloved Aaron Abraham. Aaron, because... Aaron was an intelligent, warm, simple, and humble human being. <laughs> Apart from being a true leader for our community. Sadly, I don't know, or I think that, I don't know if anybody can fill his shoes. Who will replace him? Aaron always had an, an answer to any question and took his time to answer us with detail. He was wonderful. He accepted you 
as you are. Yeah. Regardless your extent of belief in the Jewish religion, and treated us warmly without any judgment. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to add that the world lost a beautiful soul. Yeah. Thank you, Erin, yes. for leaving an imprint on all of us and all believing yeah. in your community as fiercely as you did. Mm. Thank you for leading gracefully and for embodying our roots in our tradition. You served us, you mentored us, you led us, you brought us home. We can't honor you the way that you deserve right now, but I promise that your legacy will continue to live with us. Rest in peace, Aaron. Rest in peace, great person. Rest, rest in peace, a friend of all of us. Rest in peace, our rabbi. Just rest in peace. Amen. 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 You know, I was joking once with a friend of mine. You know, I'm a Sephardi. And my friend is an Ashkenazi rabbi. And he says, you know, you guys have a lot of kulot, you, you have the leniencies. And if you look at the, at the Ashkenazim, we have all the humrot, all the stringencies. And he understood, he says, it's all in your pronunciation. A Hasid, you know, the Ashkenazis, they have their vocal intonations. And he says, if you, if you look at, if you listen to the way an, Ash, uh, an Ashkenazi addresses their rav, they always say, it's the Moira de Asra. <laughs> and I laughed and I started, I started laughing. I said, well, I waited to hear what he said. And then he says, but if you look at the Sephardic people, the Sephardim say the Mora de Asra, a revered and wise, knowledgeable teacher. If you ask, so they, they misunderstand, because they're mispronunciating the word, they're not understanding the concept of what a rabbi is. Everything, according to the Ashkenazis, they say, the moirer de asra, a feared person who makes everything forbidden. This is the answer. So I'd like to bring a little bit of a, of a Devar Torah, a little bit of a Devar Torah, a little bit of humor in the same way. This past uh, parasha, it's teaching us about how we're supposed to observe the holiday, the Chag of Shavuot. And um, on um, chapter 23 in Parashat Emor, Pasuk number 16, it says, until the day of the, after the seventh week, you shall count 50 days. So everybody knows that we count Omer 49 days. Yet it's only 50, it's, uh, but it's really on the 50th day. So why is the Torah saying that we have to do 50 days of counting? So, they're explaining it in a in a little bit of a story. Hold on one second, honey. Honey. All right. My daughter's going to bed, but she might come back to say goodnight to everyone. Um, <laughs> so there was a little bit of a story of one of my uh, my friends, uh, who's a rabbi to me, also gave me this um, the following Devar Torah. He said I should it might give me some inspiration. So we're going back. This is a story that may or may not have happened. It probably did. About 50 years ago, sorry, about 80 years ago, I'm actually reading from a, from a sefer, that in the city of Vilna in Europe, there was a famous rabbi, Rabbi Chaim Ozer Grudensky. And he had, um, and he was a very wise sage that people used to come for brachot, people used to go over to him for an explanation if they had any questions or she'elot of halacha. So one day, this famous Rav, who was also a very well-respected man, Rav Meir Yechiel of Ostrovich, um, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing the names right, um, he came to town. And Rav Chaim says, we'd like to honor the rabbi, Rav Meir Yechiel, to give a Tvar Torah. And all the people of the town came to, to uh, give Kabbalat Panim and give him Kavod. So what happens? 
Rav Chaim says, we'd like Rav Yechiel to say something. And he was very reluctant. So finally they, coach, they, they coaxed him and he says, okay. And he gets up and he says, I'm going to give it Var Torah. And Rav Chaim says, this is a great Rav. Because, so Rav Meir Yechiel says, excuse me? You're calling me a great Rav, Rabbi, because I'm able to give over some Dvar Torah? So, Rav Chaim was a little bit taken aback, so he asked Rabbi Meir, what do you consider to be a great Rav? And his answer was very simple. And it's very, very poignant to, to hit the, the nail on the head to explain Uncle Aaron very, very uh, carefully. He says, a great Rav, his response was, a great Rav is someone that makes light the burdens of the people in his community. He takes away burden from the, from the Bet Knesset, his members, his community. He makes their life easier. And they brought, they brought even um, from the Gemara on Mesechet Makot, he brought a, um, a proof saying the punishment for somebody that deserves lashes is 40. Yet the rabbis overruled the punishment of the Torah and made it, reduced it by one to make it 39. So he says, how come you're doing, you're saying this as a proof, bringing it from Makot, when we can easily make the, the show the rabbi's leniencies by getting excited for the, for the Kabbalah Torah from the Shavuot. You could say the Torah said 50, but we made it 49. So the rabbi answered again. He says, again, you have to go and you see what it is a person that knows a Rav, a community leader, that knows how to reduce the burdens of his community, this is what a great Rav is. I remember many times, Uncle Aaron used to tell me, I would invite him to something, I would ask him to participate into something, just whatever his comfort then He says, no, I have something in the synagogue. Always, he would always say how important it was to serve his synagogue, to serve his community. Anytime there was unfortunately a Levaya or a Askara, he would say to us, he has to go and do something to participate in the pain of someone else's uh, in the family, in the community, so he can reduce their pain. This is a role model, and this is a leader, and this is a great rub. Uncle Aaron may not have had an official piece of paper to Udat Smicha, but his certification as a genius by the government or by the Boeing aircraft was not just simply a certification in engineering. They got it right. He was a genius on anything. If he was curious on the Limud of a Gemara or the Limud of the Zohar, he would spend days and nights studying so he could really become a genius and know it all. This was my uncle Aaron. And we're so blessed that we were all together all the time. He would tell me stuff, teach me. He was also my teacher. He would also teach. Uh, he, I heard him a few times speaking to you. Sometimes he would tell me about the sermons. He would tell me privately on the phone the sermons that he was giving on the, on the Shabbat in the Beth Knesset. And it was absolutely beautiful. It was brilliant. It was not something that you could open up some random sefer and get a Dvar Torah. It was not something that the average rabbi would speak. Every word that I had that I was privileged to hear from my uncle Aaron was pure gems of Torah that Baruch Hashem, I have some of his notes that I have. I'm so blessed to have it. And I'm actually jealous of you that... Um, you were able to go to the Beit Knesset and hear him every Shabbat. I only got to hear it if you shared it with me. So I'm jealous of you. Let me just quickly say goodnight to my daughter, Farha. Good night, sweetheart. You know, I wanted, good night. To, ask, good night. I wanted to ask, uh, add something to what you just said. Please. You know, 
uh, if you want to see most synagogue, they skip Fatah al And that was her own specialty. Fatah yes. al it's written in Aramaic. Not too many people understand it. And it's a, one day I said, Haron, please, I want, I'm dying to understand that. And I tell the rabbis, how come you don't do it? This is the most important thing that that is written in a Jewish literature. Uh, you know, uh, rabbi, uh, the prophet Elijah explained how God created man. And it's not easy, believe me. I have a translation in English. I read it a hundred times and I cannot make it. You know, the way the words and the unity of the you know, things. Uh, and uh, he, he knew exactly what you're saying. He said, Joe, if I explain it to you, go crazy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. I would like to continue. We're going to have, after I finish the, I'm going to do now the limud of Mishnayot. Also, there are some prescribed Mishnayot that's uh, good for Ilui Nishmat based on the name. I'm going to do that uh, as quickly as possible. I'm going to read it in Hebrew and I'm going to explain it a little bit. Um, and then we'll have more time to gather our thoughts and share it. Um, and then we'll uh, do the best part of all. We're going to get to make the brachot, which means we eat cake and cookies and fruits. So, I'd like, we're going to start with, uh, with, uh, for the letter Aleph, we're going to read a Mishnah from Tesachim. Or la arba asar bodkin et hametz le or haner. Kol makom she en machnisin bo hametz, en sarich medika. Ve lama amru shte shurot ba madef, ba makom she machnisin bo hametz. Bet shamay omrim, shte shurot al pene ham, kol amartef. So we're talking about Bedigat Hametz. On the night of the 14th day, of Nisan. So it's basically the night before Erev Pesach. We must search with the night light of a candle for Hametz. That's the, the ritual of Bedigat Hametz. Any place in which there is no chance that you put Hametz, you don't need to search. So there's a question, why did the Hachamim say two rows in a wine cellar must be searched? And the answer is because there are a place where chametz might be brought. But there is a difference of opinion. According to Beit Shammai, two rows on the entire surface of the stack of the, of the barrels in the wine cellar must be searched. The entire two rows. Now, Beit Hillel has a different opinion, which is more lenient, and the halakha usually follows Beit Hillel. He states only the outermost two rows. So the first two rows, you know, one on, on the outside, let's say it's uh, basically along the walls, you're going to search. And it was only the, and it's only the uppermost. So you don't have to search the middle of the row because the chances are you're going to take from the top. So Beit Hillel used a lot of logic when he made his, uh, his sack, his ruling. But he says, don't be... Um, but that is saying, don't be so so uh, careful. Like you don't have to be scared. You know that the the the, the, the Mishnah had a question says maybe perhaps a weasel might have had a piece of chametz, like uh, grabbed a piece of bread from from uh, from the yard and then he ran into your wine cellar. He's saying it's not necessary. You don't have to worry about it so much. And he's and we take the lenient approach because he says if you're going to start worrying about everything. There is no chance that you'll have a, a peace of mind. You'll never finish searching for the chametz because you're only always going to come up with uh, various scenarios. And you don't have to do it. It's an unnecessary point. We're now going to go to 
Mesechta Brachot, and we're going to read the Mishnah in Perek 2, the first Mishnah. Haya kore batorah, vehigia zaman hamikra, im kiven libo, yatsa, ve im lav, lo yatsa, ve prakim shoel, mea kavoru meshi, ve emsa shoel, me pene hair ah, meshiv. Debre rabbi mer, rabbi huda omer, ve emsa shoel, me pene hair ah, meshiv, me pene ha kavod, ba perakim shoel, be pene ha kavod, meshiv, salom, la hol adam. So here, we're learning in Mesefta Brachot, Baruch Hashem, I just uh, finished learning the actual Gemara of that, uh, Bli Neder, once we have the B'nai Naharaim is able to open and for public, for public uh, gatherings, it would be my honor to, to defer the actual conclusion of the Mesefta of, Gemara, of uh, Brachot. I would be honored to make the Siyum and uh, party and Seuda from the Siyum the Ilu Nishmat, my uncle. So I'm going to, I'm holding it in the bank. When we can open, we're going to make a proper service. I would love to make a siyum on Mesech Tebrach. And if I finish some other kind of learning, we'll add as an extra siyum there. But if one is reading the Torah, and he was reading the Torah in the, in the portion of where they have the Shema Israel, but at the same time, they had the time of reciting the Kriya Shema came. So the answer, so according to the Mishnah, if the person that was reading the Torah had a meditation in mind to say, I want to be Yotze, my, my Chiyuv, to finish the Shema Yisrael, then according to the Mishnah, he has fulfilled his obligation. However, if he did not have a Kavana, he has not fulfilled his obligation. But then there's another question. Let's say a great man, a wise man, a great man comes in. If you're between sections of the hafta, let's say, and the hayaim shamoa, or between the hayaim shamoa and the pasuk of vayomer, uh, the parasha of vayomer, one is permitted to give a greeting out of kavod, and he may also return the greeting. So if let's say my rabbi comes in, and he and I see him. I can interrupt myself between the hafta and the hayayim shamoa, and I can say, hello, shalom aleichem to my rabbi, or if he sees me and says shalom aleichem, I can give him the respect at all, as well. If I was in the middle of a section, it's preferable not to talk. However, if, let's say, a man of great stature, let's say the, an, an officer in the government walks in, out of fear, I can, I can wish him a greeting to show, or as well as to show him the respect. We're going to now continue to um, Rish, and we're going to read from Mesechta Shabbat, chapter 19, Mishnah Aleph. Rabbi Eliezer Omer, אם לא הביא כלי מערב שבת, מביא בשבת מגולה, ובסכנה מכסהו על פי עדים. ועוד, אמר רבי אלעזר, כורתין עצים לעשות פחמים ולעשות כלי ברזל. כלל, אמר רבי עקיבא, כל מלאכה שאפשר לעשותה מערב שבת, אינה דוחה את השבת. ושאי אפשר לעשותה מערב שבת, דוחה את השבת. רבי אליעזר says, if one did not bring uh, the knife for circumcision, we're talking about ברית מילה on שבת, if one did not bring a knife to make the circumcision prior to the שבת, he didn't bring it to the house of where the baby is, they're saying it is מותר, it is permitted to bring the knife, but he has to bring it uncovered. But in times of danger, it is okay, it is okay to hide it. What's the logic here? Why does he have to bring it uncovered? This is in a day before there was a roof where you can carry, it was permissible to carry. So people had to bring things to their destination where they were going on Shabbat prior to the Shabbat. If he forgot, the Chachamim are saying it's okay to carry it. However, it's better to bring it uncovered. So this way, everybody's going to see that he's carrying an instrument to perform a mitzvah, 
of Brit Milah, which actually is permitted on the Shabbat. Now we're going to go and recite Mishnah with a Vav. And we're going to go to Moed Katan, chapter 3, Mishnah Aleph. Beru Mikachli Mikachin be Moed. Haba be Midat Ayam, umi beta Shivia. Bahayose mi bena Asurin, Bahamenuda, Shehitiru lo hachamim. Behain mi shenish ala hacham behutar, Bahanazir, Bahamit Sora, Haola, Betumatho, the Tahoratho. Beelu mechamsin be Moed, Haba be Midinat Ayam, umi beta Shivia. Bahayose mi beta Asurim. Bahamenuda, Shehitiru lo hachamim, the Hain me shenish ala hacham behutar, Mit pehot, Vahayadaim, Mit pehot ham saparim, Mit pehot ham spag, Vahazavin, Vahazavot, Vahadidot, Hayolodot, Behol haolin, Bentuma, Letahara, Hare elu mutarin, Shar kol adam asurin. So now we're talking about taking when it is permissible to have taking a haircut on Cholamoid of Eid. When a person, if a person comes from abroad, or they were they were held hostage, or they were coming out of prison or some other kind of uh, ban that prevents you from going uh, about freely. Uh, According to the uh, the rabbinical authorities, have granted an absolution and a dispensation to say it's okay to take a haircut during the Eid, um, and it's also that there is also a, a statement that says if a person is coming out of nazirut, uh, the laws of a, of a being a nazir, as well as a person that had sarat. Um, any any um, or any kind of way when a person was forbidden to be out in public and move about freely where he could do what he wants to and so if he's able to purify himself on the days of Eid during Cholamoid he also would be able to to uh, take a haircut and the dispensation also continues that he can as well wash his uh, launder his garments and anything else he needs for the kavod of the Eid. All right, so we did that. Um, okay, Rish, Vav, now we just got to do the, the noon. Rish, noon. And again, we're going to continue with Shabbat. Notel Adam et beno. והאבן בידו וחלקלה והאבן בתוכו ומטלטלין תרומה תמאים תהורה התהורה ואם החולין רבי יהודה אומר אף מעלין את המדומה באחד ומאה האבן שעל פי החבית מתי על סידה והיא נופלת הייתה בין החביות מגביה ומתה על סידה והיא נופלת, מאוד שעל הקר, נוער את הקר, והן נופלות הייתה עליו, לש, לשלשת. מקנחה במסמרטות, הייתה של אור, נותנים עליה מין עד שתכלה. A man may take his son who has a stone in his hand, or in a basket with a stone in it. Again, it's talking about what can you do on the Shabbat carrying? And it's saying, similarly, a person who is Tame, um, similarly, um, when, when, when you have something that's Tame, um, but we're talking about the ritual Teruma, which is the, what you separate to give gifts to the Kohen, or with ordinary food, I guess it's saying that we can talk, we can uh, move it. Rabbi Yehuda says, the mixture of Teruma and ordinary food may be removed when the mixture is one part teruma and a hundred parts of ordinary food. You see, there's another concept also on Shabbat of separating things, separating 
the the good things from the bad things on the shuvah. If a stone is on the mouth of a cave of wine, one tilts it to the side to fall out. Um, if a person has that there's money lying on a cushion, a person can shake it to fall out. So this is what it's it's giving you the basis for the halachot that we now have on the Shabbat, both the leniencies and the stringencies. Um, because of the time, now we are going to make berachot. Um, I already read the Zohar prior to, um, because the time is getting late. Let's make the brachot. Um, you should make a Kaddish first. I'm sorry? Kaddish, Kaddish. Let's, let's make the Kaddish. Thank you, Abe. And also, if I may suggest, after the brachot, Moshe uh, Zlicha can do the Arbit, because Moshe Zlicha was her own favorite helper. So if you don't mind, it's up to you. I would love it. It would be an honor to hear it. I'm Moshe going... Zlicha, would you do the Arbit after the brachot? Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. Thank you. First, read the Kaddish. We have the Limud now. Okay, we're going to do the Kaddish Al Israel. Anyone that wants to join me is welcome to do so. Yit Gadal, Vit Kadash, Shemer Rabba. Amen. Ibra Kirute, we are Mich Mahute, we are Smach Hukane, Kare Mishihe. Amen. 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 I would like to make now Hashkaba for my uncle. Please stand. Please, everybody stand. And I had it all bookmarked, and I'm sorry that I have to never. Ah, here we go. Uh, here we go. All that thought, excuse me. The Hachma me ain't to me say, where is on the Ashre Adam Matsa Hachma, the Adam Yafik Tibuna. Mar of Tufcha, Asher Safantele Recha, Paalta la Hosimba, Neged Bene Adam, Mai Karhastecha, Elohim, Ugne Adam, Betel Kan Besa, Yerviun, Mitation Beteha, Benachal, Adanecha Tashkem, Tov She, Mishem and Tov, Beom Hamabet, Beom Hibalado, Softa Varakol Nishma, Et Ha Elohim Yira, where Eth Mesvota Shemot, Kise Kol Adam, Yazu Hasidim Behavod, you are a new Almish Kibon. Meshkevotam, Menucha Nehone, Beshiva Menucha Nehona, Beshiva Eliona, the Malat Kitoshim Mutehorim, Kizohar Harakia, Meirim Mazirin, Behilut at Samim, the Haparata Shamim, the Hakat Pesha, the Hakravat Yesha, the Hemla, the Hanina, Milipne Shohen Meona, 
וחולקה טבה לחיי העולם הבא. שם תהא מנת מחיצת ושיבת נפש השם הטוב המרוחם מור דודי אהרון בן יוסף חיים. הדן תראות על המראה שמיה וערעה, מלך מלכי המלכים ברחמה וירחם עליו, ויחוס ויחמון עליו, מלך מלכי המלכים ברחמה ויסתירהו בצל כנפיו ובסתר יחלו, לחזות בנועם אדוני ולבחר בהיכלו, ולקץ הימים יעמידהו ומנחל אדניו ישקהו ויצרור בתור החיים נשמתו וישים כבוד מנוחתו, אדוני הוא נחלתו, וילווה אליו השלום. ועל משכבו יהיה שלום. כי דרכיו יבוא שלום, ינוחו על משכבותם, הולך נכוחו, והוכחו בכל בני ישראל השוכבים עמו, בכלל רחמים והסליחות, וכן יהי רצון, ונאמר אמן. 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 Okay. Let's take the brachot now? Yeah. Bread. Okay. Oh, oops. Oops. <laughs> No, this can't be. Someone is sharing the screen, guys. We can take it out. Guys, it off. I got off. Oh, thank you. Bring me in the fridge, Remy. Mommy's coming. We're going to do an order. Dana, can you come with us? We're going to do the high eight. No, Sim. So my, my wonderful wife and daughter brought me an apple. And Remy likes an apple too. Remy, would you like to make the bracha? On a ha'et? Go with me. Take an apple in your hand. Remy, baruch. Okay, take it. Baruch. Ata. Adonai. It's. Mela. Bore, Piri, Ha'e. Amen. 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 I'm proud of you, Rami. Okay. And we're all going to eat. Do we have any hadama? Amen. 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 Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Ure Peri Amen. 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 And my daughter Remy, Uncle Aaron was also very close with, so she wants to be, so we include her too. And Remy was practicing all day. What bracha do we make on a cookie, Remy? Ms. Oh, no. Good job. Take the cookie. Cut it. Cut it. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Eat the cookie. Amen. 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 And even though I didn't put this on the schedule, I like my whiskey. So you I'm should get a bow level. 
I'd like to make a l'chaim to everyone that's joining in this askara. Thank you to the congregation, B'nai Naharayim. Thank you very much to my uh, friend, now my, my new close friend, Abe Lerner, as well as Ruth and Kola Kahal Kadosh for organizing this as a way to um, honor the memory of my uncle and do Aliyat Neshama for him. Bezrat um, Hashem will also continue this. I'd like to make for everybody a L'chaim. And of course, if anyone else would like to continue sharing and let me know, please, please, please go ahead. Can I just add something? Absolutely. That our president, Shlomo Yado, he cannot, he just wrote me something that he's, that's what he's writing. My Zoom is not working. I had been on audio and listened to all the kind of words and uh, to the, to the, to the, to the, Mishnot, to the Mishnot. Mishnot. And I guess, I, I guess I cannot mute, unmute. Your uncle was great. I am glad that the last time we met at uh, Megillat Esther in the synagogue, he was strong, stand up, he stood up and read the entire Megillah. As the pandemic started, he had been on the phone, or we had been on the phone uh, many times, and I felt that he was said to make the, the announcement that the synagogue will remain closed. I am glad the, that the congregation was able to raise the fund money for the Sefer Torah in our own honor very quickly. Uh, greatest moment in the history of B'nai Naharaim. The day we, was it? The day that, the we, day that we commissioned the Sefer. Yes. That's mm -hmm. from our president Shlomo. And he cannot, I mean, he hears everything. He just cannot unmute. So that's to you from Shlomo Yado. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you, Shlomo. Thank you. Moshe Zicha, you want to carry the Arbit? Yeah, before the Arbit, there is a Lamnatzea. I'm going to read it. Lamnatzea, Livne Korah, Mizmor, Shimuzot, Kolamim. אז ינו כל יוש וחלה זם בני אדם גם בני איש יחד אקשיר ואביון כי ידבר חוכמות יגוד לבי צבונות עתה למשל אוזני אפתח וכינור חידתי למה ירא וימרא עוון עקה ויסו בני הבוטחים על חילם וברובות שם ידללו אך לא פדו יפדה איש לא ייתן לאלוהים כופרו ויקר פדיון נפשם וחדל לעולם ויחי עוד לנצל ויראה השחת אם יראה חכמים ימותו יחד כסיל ובר יאבדו ועזבו לאחרים חילם קרבם בתם ולעולם ישקל אותם לדור ודור ארו בשמותם עלי אדמות ואדם כתב הילדים נמשל כבהמות נגמוס את הדם כשל למו ואחריהם נגל יצאו סלע קיצון לשאול שעתו מה בגרם כדו פעם ישרים לבוקר וצפורם לבלות שאול מסבו לו אחר נפתה נפשי מיד שאול בי כי כהן יישא להגיע כאשר איש קיר וכבוד ביתו כי לא במותו ייקח הכל לירד אחריו כבודו כי נפשו בחייו יברך ויוזבו לך כי תטיב לה תבוא עד דור אבותיו עד נצע לא יבור דם ביתה ולא יביא נפשל גם בהמה נדמו אשם יחוד קודשה בריך ושכין דבת אלו אורחים אורחים אותם לא יעדה שם עוד כבב עוד כבב יודע שלים בשם כל ישראל. הנה אנחנו באים להתפלל תפילת ערבית שתיקן יעקב אבינו עליו השלום עם כל המצוות הכלולות בא לתקן את שורשיו במקום עליון לעשות נחת רוע ליוצרנו ולעצור את צום בוראנו והנה עומד עונה אלוהינו עלינו ומעשה ידינו כוננה עלינו ומעשה ידינו אדוני צבאות עמנו ישגב לנו אלוהי יעקב סלע אדוני צבאות אשר נם בותי ארבעה אדוני יושיע המלך יעננו ביום ובינו 
יתגדל ויתעדה השם ירבה. אמן. 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 שם אדוני מבורך, מעתה בדבר המזרח שם שלנו, אמרנו על שם אדוני, רם על כל גויים אדוני על השמיים, כי עבודה אדוני את בנינו מאדיר שמך בכל הארץ, יתגדל ויתקדש שם אירופה. אמן. ועל מה דיברה כאותם לי חלקותם עצמם פולקני ויקרב משיחי. אמן. וחייכון וביום אחר וחי תכל בישראל בעגלה ובזמן חייבים ואמן. אמן. אמן. אמן.
שנקרא כרותה וימיך מבותה וישמח וקנה וקרא ושיטה. אמן. זה נכון ובכן ובכן בית ישראל בעגלה בזמן קריב אמרו אמן. אמן. ‫ויתדר ויתהלה ויתהלה על שמנו ‫כושה בריחו. ‫אמן. ‫-כל וכתב ושיר את התשועתה ונחמתה, ‫דאמירן ואמרו, אמרו, אמן. ‫-אמן. ‫-נחמה. חיים ושבה ושועה ונחמה ושי זבה, ‫ורפואה וגולה ושיחה וכפרה. ‫-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-אמן-
their friends, the people who was involved in their lives, were devastated. I miss my mother very much. I, I miss my uncle, Aaron, very much. I, every time my children do something cute that's religious that, I, that, that we influence them on, I could pick up the phone and I'd say, Uncle Aaron, Remy did this, Farha did this. I can't do this anymore. I could call my uncle Nissim and my auntie Bertha and we would chat. It's so painful. Baruch Hashem, I have a community. I have Uncle Aaron's Beit Knesset, B'nai congregation, B'nai Naharayim, that embraced us. And they've been close. They've been calling me when Uncle Aaron was alive, that they're worried about him. They've been calling me that when, when the, the, the last day of his life, very nervous about him. And then... The 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 kavod achron the the final respects that they paid to my uncle. Unfortunately, I lost a lot a, fr- a lot of my friends. Also, lost people because of the virus. And because of and and they weren't able to have proper shiva proper levaya because of you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my family, that you were able to do this. And we were able to give my, fa- uh, my family the proper respect that they deserved so much. And I want to thank you all very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank, you thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everybody. And we all Thank hope you. to see you in our synagogue coming after when the pandemic will finish. Just come. The synagogue is think, yours. When do you think uh, that's going to be? Thank you. And, and Abe, also, you have to, you, you, you need a Hazak Baruch, special to you, Abe Lerner. Yes, yes. We started, yes. We started with that because I was on the phone with you all, the, all day yesterday, last night, after the Shabbat, and this morning. Uh, hell, you know, to do something appropriate and respectful. Thank you. Gabriel, you will now know much better than our community. Believe me, we are very, very nice people. All you have seen here. <laughs> you don't have to convince me. I, I, I've been hearing about how wonderful you are for the last 40 years. <laughs> 40 years. And, and I see it now more than ever before. And, and you know, I should also... My wife in the other room, but I should also tell you that my wife loved Uncle Aaron from the moment that we got connected. In fact, I'll tell you one of the first things we got engaged on my father's birthday. Uh, my father was already Niftar two years earlier, but my, we got engaged on my father's birthday on Purim. And the night before, we were in the, the Beit Knesset for the Purim to hear Uncle Aaron read the Megillah. We went for the Seuda to my mother's house. <laughs> and then we got engaged after the Seuda. And then we made it a very important point to run to Benita Harayim while you were having a Purim party so we can share the, the, uh, the news with Aaron and the congregation. <laughs> oh, and my wife just come. And every year on Purim, we always told Uncle Aaron something special. The next year, it was that I was pregnant. Then another year, I was pregnant with my next year. It was all <laughs> during Purim that we told him the good news, too. Baruch so Hashem. thank you for letting us into your homes, too. We appreciate it. Gabriel, thank you. Uh, are you, is your father the poet? He wrote the book of poetry one time. Uh, Ed gave me, Abraham gave me a book? No, that was my, my, my uncle. That was not my father. That was my aunt Seema's husband, Mordechai. Morty. Oh, Mordechai, yeah. My father was Abraham Solomon. I see. Was, I was very impressed with the loyalty to India. Yes, Uncle, uncle Morty was a very special man in his own right. He loved my my aunt Seema till his dying breath, but he was a very sweet and special 
well. Very, it's very emotional and very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> he was a, like I said, he was a special man. And let me tell you, my Aunt Seema, God bless her, she's 94 years old. And I pray to God that, that, that you know, we always say, And I, I pray to God that she will live because and my uncle Nissim also, he should be well, but he's the baby in the family. He's, I think, 80. I'm not sure exactly how old he is. I think he's 87 now. In no. God bless the family. I, well, I pray that Admea Vesrim Shana is Mikuyam. It, it should be fulfilled because there's such, there's such special people. Uncle Aaron was special, but each and every one of his, of, of his family, I had a special, I have and had a very special closeness with. Um, since I mentioned the family, Uncle Abi was the first to go to Shamaim. Um, I didn't really have a relationship with him. I was maybe five years old when he passed away. Um, Uncle Jack was Gloria's uh, father. Uncle Jack was also a wonderful, wonderful, special human being. A gem, you know, very sweet, very special people. And all I can tell you is every... You know, you can talk to about people for their wisdom, for their knowledge, for their for their good deeds. All I can, in addition to all of that, I can tell you that Uncle Aaron, Uncle Jack, Uncle Nissim, Auntie Seema, my mom, and Uncle Abe, all they did was love. All all it was was love, and. That's something I that you can never replace is the love. The wisdom you can keep forever. You know, one thing, one thing I wanted Aaron to do, to leave us something of his knowledge that he acquired through his life, which was so hard. You know, you know, that it you know, like a book or something. The knowledge that he acquired by himself. It's it's uh, you know Baruch Hashem. I have I have some of his notes. That's that's what I have. I would never I would never want to leave it. Yeah. Why don't you publish it? I'll I'll, I'll in appropriate times. I with appropriate times I will share it. Um, I will. You know I have lessons about ten lessons we had with him on a on a CD. It would what mean the world it? to me if you if if. Um, if you can share that with me, um, it would mean the world with me. I'll try to, to find it. it. It was done on a, you know, the tapes that he used to make. Sure. You know, I used to give him the old ones, and he, <laughs> 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 he used to make the old works. He said, "Yeah, give me all your old tapes." <laughs> yeah. Gabriel. Yes. I am sorry. I am sorry to hear of the loss of your mother. Aaron always made me feel welcome to the services. He was always a friend. He had a very nice relationship with, and he was a friend to my father, Dr. Joseph Korin. Zichrono Livracha. He also taught my nephew Aaron. Aaron also taught my nephew, Ellie Friedman, how to chant the Iraqi tunes. Ellie appeared sometimes in the services. I'm sure some of the people here would recognize him. My nephew is now in Israel and is sleeping due to the time zone, but I will tell him about the Shloshim tonight. My nephew Ellie also put a very nice tribute for Aaron on his own Facebook page. I will miss Aaron. May he rest in peace. Amen. 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 Gabriel. Yes. You know, I think you can tell from our community, you know, it's more than just that we're said about um, your uncle being irreplaceable as a leader. He is actually irreplaceable. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Peace irreplaceable as a human being. Yes. <clears throat> I think that's why we miss him, are going to miss him the most. Yeah. Because of who he was as a person. We're going to miss him as our, as our leader. <clears throat> but we're going to miss him much more for the, because of the man that he was. I think you already know that, but um, but I think I can speak for everybody that we all feel that way. Yes, we all. I can tell you that um, my son was bar mitzvah in the synagogue three years ago, and we did not have my father. My father was already deceased, and my father-in-law was living in Israel, so we had no grandfather there to be with us, and my son became very close to your uncle. He would sit with him every Kabbalah Shabbat that we would do once, once, once a month. And I decided that I wanted your uncle to have the aliyah between myself and my son. Um, for me as like a father figure and for my, my son as a grandfather. So I was so happy that he had the Aliyah and my son's bar mitzvah three years ago. And I can't tell you how much I'm going to miss him terribly. We all, we will all, believe me, we have the same feeling that you have. God bless you and your family, Gabriel. We really hope you will have a chance to come and visit us. We, we, you're part of our mishpacha, you know? We, we would love to. You'll always be part of our mishpacha, always. Thank you so much. Uh, we, we, we would love to. We really love it. We love your people. We, we love the community. I don't think that he had uh, not even one enemy. He was <laughs> loved by everybody, really. No. Respected by everybody. Yeah. Always sweet, very nice smile. You will be missed. You will be missed. Well, thank you. Thank you to everybody once again. From the bottom of my family's heart, we love you all. We appreciate you and everything. The fact that you all came tonight and spent the time to honor is the world to us. Thank you so much. Please, everybody, keep in the in touch. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. All thank right. You. Uh, Gabriel, Gabriel, I just want to add something. Please. I'm glad when we gave him the when we honored him with Sefer Torah, he told us about his story. That part, I would like to hear it again from his own mouth. I hope we had it recorded, right? We do. We, we have do. it. So that will be the best. He was proudly talking about his story and how he arrived to Benina Haraim. That was very special. I enjoyed it thoroughly listening to it the other day. Oh, really? I, We'd love to hear it. Stars. And again, you see the joy in his face and his shiny face and his uh, Shekhinah. He was very special to all of us. Yes. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Oh, Laila Tov, everybody. Laila Tov. Guys, I miss you all. I miss you all, really. We all miss you. We all miss you, yeah. <laughs> miss your singing. <laughs> Thank Baby, you. Go have, go have a haircut. <laughs> Next <laughs> month, Kabbalah Shabbat, right. Friday night. Okay. In our dreams. Kabbalah <laughs> Shabbat next month. I or not? The first Friday night. <laughs> okay. Next month, June? Let's see you all there. Bye, Bye guys. Next month, things look good. Bye. 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 Thank you, Gabrielle. Thank you, Gabrielle. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Gabrielle. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Thank you.